Hello, welcome back to another Godzilla Battleline video. Today we're going to be using a Biollante leader and G21. It is going to be a debut for a Biollante leader on this channel. Surprisingly, I've never used Biollante seriously as a leader before. Wow. And our level 5 G21. We were going to use King Ghidorah, but I noticed it is on London right now. So I figured this would be a very opportune time to use Godzilla 21. Since the last video we used him in was a very, very bad deck. Didn't really um, play to his strength, so I built this deck around him. It's a very standard meta deck. People like to use Godzilla 89 with G21, and I was thinking, why don't I just use my level 30 Anguirus? Because that combo is a lot cheaper, and I feel like it still works pretty well. Especially because Angie is pretty quick in the water. Alright, starting off the video here with Alex Karib. Don't believe I've ever played this player. Oh, Alexis Karib, my bad. Kind of a bad hand. Um, don't really want Angie or G21 on first hand. Honestly, it's not looking bad. Um, that doesn't look good. Actually, it looks pretty good now, because Angiris took all that aggro. Wow, that works pretty nicely. We're going. We boost in. Um, I don't think this is gonna work out. Yeah, he's got a Manila. Why is it every time I use G21, I got a Manila? What a jerk. And I don't really have anything to hit his battery here. I think we'll still take it out. I thought the King Caesar was going to go on the Mega Gears. Not a fan of the damage we're about to take. Oh, we didn't take any damage? I'm a beast? That batcher drop probably mattered there, or else Bylante wouldn't have had the damage to take it out, I'm sure. Alright, I think what I'm going to do here is... That wasn't good. I should never put G21 out of the water like that. And we're gonna have to Mega Gears. Oh, okay, he went for Andy anyways. I guess it works out. Honestly, not a huge fan of this push here, but it looks like we got it. Yep, there we go. Cool, cool. Man Rakan. A man Rican. Only he knows. I play this guy a lot, and I have never used a Biollante leader or a G21 against him, so he might be in for a surprise. Again, we do get Angie and Godzilla 21 in our deck, or in our lineup on the first hand. Not exactly my favorite. Go ahead and play our Batra so we can take out the Space G. What I'm gonna do our Angiers is pretty healthy. And the thing that's good about G21 is anything that's not a... You know what? I'm speed boosting. I don't care. We're going in. 
Dude, that guy just stockpiled so much stuff for me, though. My lord. How much energy is this guy got right now? All right, got about a uh, one hit in. Not bad, not bad. Pretty gods. I mean, that wasn't our ideal push. Luckily, Bailante's um, leader ability does recharge very, very quickly. So, possibly do some stuff. I don't like using Godzilla 21 if there's no speed boost. So a very big lack of upside. But, you know what? It's your video, man. Let's go. Go. Go, 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 go. And Gears should hold this off for a while. It looks like he has a Space Godzilla and a Spam deck of Flyers. My batcher looks like it's broken, so it's able to trade with his very nicely. We're gonna speed this in. Off our second chorus and see if Godzilla 21 can take him. Looks like it's gonna work. Nice. Nice. Baby Godzilla Bakanethi. The cannon. Bakanethi. Who knows? Who knows? Again, Anguirus and Godzilla 21 just sitting in my hand. What are the odds? Now, this hand wouldn't be so bad if Super X was up next. Super X is not up next, so... Alright, I got a random call, so that got um, interrupted. I'm gonna start my recording over. <laughs> okay, all right, I guess that happened. And there you can see my last recording that got uh, messed up, and there he is. I guess it's over. Balls suck. I'm sure, that's exactly how he wants us to pronounce that. And finally, no Anguirus, no Godzilla 21. And Senor Balsak is going to send out King Adora Super X. We're gonna play our Super X right here. Let's pray to God that he does not have Dimension Tide. I don't think he does. Fine. Oh, it's actually not fine. I didn't know our uh, the Manila was gonna be targeting us there. We are all good. He's gonna go ahead and heal that bridge there. I, I'm I'm pretty sure he uh, was not trying to heal the bridge. Okay, that's good. Yep, 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 yep. No, 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 no. Why, why is Angiers getting pushed out? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. There it is. Thank God the Godzilla wasn't hitting the Angiers and the G21 at the same time. Worked out very nicely. All right, Mr. Um, Mr. Garuda Pilot. He's gonna drop his Biolante. We're not gonna rush for anything crazy. So we're just gonna drop our Batra. Honestly, probably, this is probably the worst hand, I'd imagine. Cause I really want Super X or Angiers out first. I do not want these other things out here. So now I have to deploy Mega Gears. Um, I think it's gonna work out good though. She should lock onto the Space Godzilla. 
she succeeds, and she's probably gonna win that trade. Oh, she is. All right, is is gonna clear out that for us? In retrospect, he probably should have uh, probably should have left the bridge up, but our Angiris would have taken it out anyway. All right, now we speed boost in. Things are locked onto Angiris. Angiris is stuck on the crystals. Not good. He's get targeted by Space Godzilla and G89. Luckily. Angiris managed to take out the Space Godzilla, so I guess it isn't the end of the world. Not my favorite push in the world, but we did manage to get half his health. Alright, looks like all my recordings are going to get messed up today because I'm getting telemarketer calls. I don't know what I did to deserve this. Why can't they all just die? All the telemarketers just die. You're evil people. Just so evil. I mean, I don't wish harm upon anyone in this world, but... For being honest, telemarketers are horrible, horrible spots of life. Come on, man. I'm just trying to party. Seriously, we gotta do it like this, man. I've been so distracted. I got telemarketers up my butt, trying to sell me stuff, ruining my recordings. Time for that. Why is this guy trying so hard? Leave me alone. Where's my psychic sword? Where's my everything? I already should drop here today. This is, uh, this push is so scuffed. Kill my super X for the love of God already. Jeez, thank you. Took you on that. Alright. You got a tank, Angie. Boy. Okay, I did just see him drop energy base. I'm thinking I could maybe muster up a push here. Um, honestly, that looks pretty nice. Pretty juicy. Let's go! A Rex. Now, do you think he thinks he's just A Rex? Like A T Rex? Just a singular Rex? Or is he possibly the A-Rex? The Alpha Rex? You know, this guy probably thinks he's pretty Alpha. He's running a Jet Jaguar. He's going with Kashi Nawanis. He's probably an Alpha Rex. Let's be honest. What kind of godsend is this? Uh-oh. I hear you locked on like Insta. But we chillin'. We chillin'. I'm hoping Angie is gonna manage to have at least like half health. Um this might be nice. I think it's nice. G21 really needs the. Oh, I'm so happy our Angie lived through that at the start. Psychic Chorus shouldn't matter. Now, the question is if we rush in here. Oh, I don't even have I'm such an idiot. I don't even have Psychic Chorus up. But he does have a Jet Jaguar leader, so maybe it's not that much damage. And it looks like it was. We Gucci. Staggy. Staggy, stag, stag, meister. What's happening, Stag? Ooh. We're in it. What's happening? Bad hand. Oh, the hand of badness. 
Oh, that accidental drop. Well, let's just hope we can take out his bio. I'm gonna Psychic Chorus. It's just what's gotta happen. It's gotta happen. <laughs> it sucks, but it had to happen. I need to get my energy base down. Now here, um, we're gonna have to take some damage on our Violante. It's the only, only way. No, dude, why am I misdropping so bad? I'm so... I hate myself. I hate myself. I hate myself. Not where I wanted my stupid, stupid Batra. Stupid, 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 stupid. Don't great battle me, Stagathy. You know that was a horrible battle. That was embarrassing. I brought shame upon my clan. Emperor Norton II. Let's do it, bud. I've been shuffling through bots. I'm getting trolled by telemarketers. Set out to sell me timeshares in Colorado. It's like, man. I've never been to Aspen. I don't want to go. What do they not get? Oh, really? Look at that, Emperor Norton. Good for you. Yeah, Kiryu just doesn't do it. You need a pretty high level Kiryu now. Just because Psychic Horse is evil. It's Godzy. This might be the first time this video I got back-to-back -back matches, because... Gosh, every time I record, it just feels like I can't find anyone sometimes. It's crazy. Finding more matches at like 2 a.m. Yeah, we're gonna play Angie. We're gonna play Mega. Um, that's horrible. I mean, we're gonna get the uh, Terrestrious, I guess. So we're not gonna get the Terrestrious, I guess. Is that what's? Is that what you're telling me? I like how Angie just does his whole windup just just in time for it to not work. I just felt it in my soul. That's exactly what was gonna happen. You know, honestly, I do not really care about Ultima. Angiers just don't care. But this guy is gonna be stacking like this, it might not be too good. We don't have Violante for the Space Godzilla. Might be a little tough. But if Angie tanks through all this, then we're A-okay. A lot of crystals we gotta burst through right now, though. Why, why even plasma cannon that? What is that going to do? Oh, that was the plasma cannon of defeat, I see. Oh, Age. Shout out to Age, since we're using his G21. I guess it's all come full circle. He recommended I use G21 a while ago. Now I'm using G21 against him. Call that the circle of life. Bio really, really sucks. Ah, oh, we kind of messed up. Should have played Mega Gears on the other side. I'm gonna go for the Batra now. Oh, it's bad. It's 
Yeah. I shouldn't have deployed G21 there. That was never gonna work. And Super X is sitting like a perfect little parrot on Godzilla's shoulder so he didn't get targeted. Perfect, we're gonna be able to take out his Super X before anything else gets there. Our Engie's gonna take all this aggro for us. Mega Gears to the Violante. Then we're going to drop G21, Speed Boost, Psychic Chorus, and see what happens. Go, go, go! G21, why stay out of the water there? Why? Why stay out of the water? Go back in the water. You like the water. You look good. And G21 didn't do any damage to the leader, but he was there for effort. MJRzilla. Now the people are hopping on. I think I got four in a row now. Much better. Yeah, not a not a huge fan of my hand here. Let's we'll get our batch up. Deploying gear so the Mecha Godzilla isn't um, trolling us and taking out our Super X. Don't need that. And this push was never really going to amount to anything, so we'll go ahead and drop our energy base, sack off the push. Hopefully Angie survives a hit. That's good. Super X is going to chunk down this Batra pretty nicely. And what I'm going to do is just deploy Mega Gears now, because I don't really want Mega Gears in my hand. I want Super X in my hand to start off this push. And this is exactly what we want to see. Super X behind the leader. Energy base refueling energy. Now we got 10 energy. I think we probably messed up there if we wasted energy, but here we are. Got all our energy. Not really deploying stuff super fast, but hey, here we are. See, this is the thing about G21 is you need a lot of stuff on the field to get him to work. But now I feel like all the stuff on the field is probably just going to win the game instead of him. But we'll see. No, no, no. Yep, that one. Good job. And this is a dub. There we are. G21 throwing up on his enemies. B-Train 16. Don't think I've played B-Train before. I'm thinking here we probably just drop Angie in the water and take out the bridge. This is probably a good play. If we could manage to take out his Terrestris with our Super X. Mitigate any, any damage we take here. Yeah, I think this will go nicely. See how much this Biolante chunks our G21. Absolutely just wrecks him. That's how you know. <laughs> this just shows how much better Biolante is. Doesn't even look at G21 and kills him. She's not even looking. And the Psychic Chorus on his Manila is probably not the best play. He is going to take out my Super X with it. That's what he wanted to do. 
but he's not going to take out my Batra. I'm going to just redeploy my Super X and stall out on all of his stuff. Mega Gears to the bio. Yeah, that Batra drop was not going to be good for him, I imagine. Yeah, this is exactly what I want to see here. This is really good. Then we speed boost right now. I don't even care if we don't get this Batra. We do. It's all about this push. KG21. Survive. Survive time, baby. Alright, Bio's dead. That's game. Good battle, B-Train. Goji Rito. We'll probably end the video here on Goji. It's kind of hard to keep track of time on this one. We got a lot of missing variables. Missing variables? How vague is that? We got a lot of distractions with the telemarketers. There we go. That's what I wanted to say. Damn telemarketers. Still bugging. Now I gotta paste together my video in three different spots. All because of those smelly, smelly telemarketers that somehow get your information. I don't even know. What did I do? Probably from leaving your number at like the grocery store or something. That's how they get you. That is how they get you. We're gonna psychic course our mega gears here so that um, we can just drop our energy base. It's gonna get us off a lot more damage too. It's definitely not a bad play. We're gonna drop our Angie in front of the. We thought I was gonna Mega. Nope. No Mega. The Angiers took the last shot. It's pretty good. Saves a hit on our Bio. More Batra. Let's it fly out. Do a little bit more than it would have. Okay, that is. Pretty good, from what I can tell. We're gonna stall out on his commas. Need Angie out here. And his Bailante is probably gonna get up, which is gonna suck for us. Dude, <laughs> Godzilla 21 really takes off. I didn't expect him to go that fast, but that dude hauled. We're just going to deploy our Mega Gears on the other side. We're just looking to end the game here, let Super X do some chip damage. Yeah, it looks like that's how it is going down. Flashing the Why Did It Happen sticker, best sticker in the game. Alrighty, we'll go ahead and end our video there. I feel like we gave G21 some justice. Not bad, not bad. He's gonna be able to succeed in this deck at a low level because his job for me is, is to get on the leader and do damage. His damage scales infinitely, not hard to do. It's that survivability. I really, really wish I had a level 10 G21 compared to my level 10 Kong. Dude's absolutely useless at level 10, where G21 would probably be way, way nicer. I also think comboing him with Angiris is not bad at all. If you're looking for like a cheaper tank option, maybe G, uh, G89 is a little too expensive to combo him with too many things. Angiris is going to fit in there and be able to do that. Bailante would probably also be able to, but then you wouldn't have the Bailante leader, so you're left with some decision making. But this is my ideal G21 team if you guys wanted to run a team similar to this. I thought it worked pretty nicely for the most part. Thank you guys for watching the video. I will see you in the next one. Let's have Bailante do a little laughing into like a tentacle spree. And you guys have a good rest of your day.